morning everyone i just woke up a little bit ago i'm still very tired i really want to go back to bed and just not go to school today but i can't do that because it's almost finals and i can't miss these classes i'm gonna take a vitamin and get myself something for breakfast i'm probably just gonna have cereal because that's just easy and quick and then go get ready Okay, I'm all ready for class. Here is the fit, just the same thing I wear like every day. I'm gonna bring the sweatshirt I was wearing this morning and yeah, I'm gonna head to class. Okay, I just got to school. I'm having a weird morning. It's not looking like the best mental health day, but hopefully it turns around. I also realized that I forgot something at home that I needed for today. Not a huge deal, so it's okay. But yeah, I think I'm just having an off morning. Something that I like to do while I'm just like waiting in my car before I need to walk to class is reading. Reading also just really helps with my mental health. So I wanna tell you guys about today's sponsor, which is Book of the Month. I am genuinely so excited about this. I feel like this is such a perfect partnership. You guys know how much I love reading. So if you don't know what Book of the Month is, it's a super popular online book service for readers. Their mission is to promote new and emerging authors and help readers discover books that they'll love. So how it works is their team finds hundreds of books each month and gives readers their choice from a curated selection of new and early release titles. So you don't even have to research the next book you're gonna read, they'll do it for you, which is my favorite part because I always struggle with picking out which book I'm gonna read next. Another great thing about Book of the Month is that it's risk-free so you can skip any month and you won't be charged. Plus they have the best price for new release hardcover fiction. You can get your first book for just five dollars with code wonder so i wanted to show you guys my picks for this month they come in this cute little blue box and it even comes with a cute little bookmark so the first book i picked was kiss her once for me by allison cochran i chose this because first of all i love a good romance and second of all it takes place during the holidays which is perfect for this month i'm actually going to start this right now and then the second book i picked is all the dangerous things by stacy willingham this one is a thriller which i haven't read in a long time so i wanted to try something new so go try out book of the month you can head to bookofthemonth.com to check out their other picks and use code wonder to get your first book for $5. Okay, so since it's kind of hard for me to talk to my camera and like vlog at school, I figured I'd just do a voiceover. So I walked to class and then we just watched a movie. And then after class, I had a short break. So I found a spot to sit and then I had a snack. I always just bring a protein bar. And then I was gonna read, but I realized I forgot my book in the car. So I decided I would just watch some of the new White Lotus episode. And then I walked to my next class. It was pretty boring. And then after that was over, I just walked back to my car. We just got out of class. I'm not done for the day yet though. I do have another class in a little bit, but I have a break right now. So I'm gonna go grab some lunch. I think I'm gonna run to Panera. I also need to get gas. Like I said earlier, I forgot something at home and that thing was my wallet that also had my Costco card in it. So I can't get gas there. So I'm just gonna try to find another cheap place to do it, but I'm hungry. So I'm gonna get food first. I'll probably stay there for a while, do some homework. Then I'll go get gas then go to my next class, then go home. It's gonna be a long day. just got done at Panera. I got a good amount of stuff done. Definitely not everything that I wanted to do, but I'm still happy with what I got done. I'm kind of stressing right now because I have this final project due tonight at 11.59 that is a group project. I have two other group members. It's an eight to 10 page report with a presentation. I have everything done. I just finished the very last part that I needed to get done right now in Panera. My group members have not started. It's an eight to 10 page report and a presentation. Like you should have started this maybe day ago. I get it. Like they probably have a bunch of work in their other classes too, but the thing is so did I, but I still got it done. And now I'm stressing because what if they don't get it done on time and then my grade is hurt because of it? I don't know. So we'll see. I'll tell you guys later tonight if we can submit it or not. My hands have been so dry recently. I think it's because we switched soaps or just because it's like winter. Also look at how cute my nails are. Are we seeing this right now? They are my favorite nails I've ever had by far. This is really weird lighting. I'm sorry about this. Anyways, I'm going to go get gas. The gas is actually not crazy expensive right now. It's only $4.39. Only $32 total. I had like a quarter tank, so maybe that's why. Alright, heading to class. 
parked outside of my class. One thing about me is that I love sitting in my car. I like getting to class a little bit early just so I don't have to like park my car and immediately get out and go. I like to just like relax for a second, prepare myself for the day I'm about to have. I might go into this class a bit early, but I still have literally like 20 minutes that I can sit here and still be early to that class. So I'm very early. But yeah, I might go in early so that I can get a head start on my work because I've been having some weird like technical difficulties with this project that's due today. So I might need like extra time, not really sure. Also, one of my professors from last year is sitting in a car next to me right now, but he doesn't know who I am because it was one of the online classes and like nobody really turns their camera on for those. So I know what he looks like, but he doesn't really know what I look like. He was a great professor. He was so nice. So I totally would say hi anyways, but he is sitting in his car, so I don't want to bother him. But anyways, I'm trying to decide if I want to read right now or if I want to watch The White Lotus. I'm not in like a thinking, comprehending mood, so I don't think I'm gonna read right now. If I watch The White Lotus, I can just check out for like 20 minutes, so that is what I'm gonna do. Okay, I just got out of class and I'm finally heading home. for dinner tonight because I was way too lazy to actually figure something out to eat and put it together and cook and whatever. I just wanted to throw this in the oven and have it be ready. So I'm having the Trader Joe's three cheese pizza. This stuff is so, so good. And while I eat, I think I'm gonna finish the episode of The White Lotus. I think I have like 20 minutes left or something like that. I will let you guys know what I think. <laughs> the episode of the white lotus all i have to say about it is please do not watch this show if you are a minor it is very graphic i almost wish i didn't watch it but it's also really good so i don't know i have a few things to do tonight i have that presentation tomorrow so i want to just like look over it and make sure i know like what i'm gonna say so i don't have to like read off of the board or anything like that and i also need to edit this video i just want to get as much done as possible it's already 7 30 and recently i've been trying to get myself to be like in bed fully like unwinding at 10 and like kind of just like ready to fall asleep whenever I end up falling asleep. I've really been enjoying waking up earlier than I usually would just because obvious reasons like it gives you so much more time in your day to like get done whatever you need to and whenever I wake up earlier I can have like a more relaxing morning because I'm not like rushing to go to school or just kind of like rushing to get my day started like I always just never felt good mentally when I was waking up at like 10 or 11 even though like that's totally fine but I just knew that I could have been using that time to like get more homework done so I would have more time in the day to just like relax and not do anything. I forgot I also want to finish making some cake pops that I started and just haven't had time to finish yet so I'm gonna try to do that and I would like to journal tonight. I can't remember if I talked about it in this video but I've just been getting into journaling recently and it has been very therapeutic. I wish I brought my journal to school today because you guys know I had a rough 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 morning. Definitely worse than I probably made it seem earlier but I was like trying to get myself not to cry so that I could film this video. So that's how my morning was going. So I definitely could have used my journal at that time. Anyways, so I have a little list of things that I want to get done tonight, but I feel like I won't be able to like fully focus until I'm all clean and showered, my makeup is off, and I just feel relaxed. So I'm gonna go take a shower and just start unwinding for the night. Okay, I'm all showered and clean. It is eight o'clock on the dot. Actually, it you can't even see. It's 8.01. I'm gonna start editing. Since I have a lot of stuff to do tonight, I'm just gonna edit until 8.30, then review my presentation, then cake pops, then journaling. I also wanna organize my closet tonight. There's a lot to do. We don't have a lot of time, but we're gonna make it work. It is that time of the night. I edited some of the video, did not get nearly as much done as I wanted to. So I'll work on that tomorrow too. And then I also got ready what I was gonna say for my presentation tomorrow. I'm skipping the cake pops tonight because I just won't have time and it's too like stressful to do at night. I would rather do it in the day. I don't know, I just don't feel like doing it right before bed. I wanna do more like relaxing activities. So I am gonna journal. I probably have about like four entries in this thing. Literally just started it, but already I feel like it's improved my mental health so much because 
because it just helps me not be as stressed out like not everything is in my head like i can get it out on paper and it's a great way to like reflect because i feel like whenever i'm journaling things just start to come out that i didn't even realize were like in there if that makes sense so yeah journaling has been great i don't do it every day or anything probably not even every couple days like i just do it whenever i feel like it and whenever i have enough stuff to write down i'm probably going to be journaling a lot about this morning You guys are sitting on my bed frame right now. I don't know why I never thought of this. Like the perfect height for my camera. Also ignore the pile of clothes on my bed. I need to put those away. But my camera died about halfway through journaling. But I'm finished now. I am gonna start laying down for the night. It's actually even earlier than I usually lay down, but that's honestly fine with me because it's been such a long day. Mentally, I am just exhausted. I actually still need to make sure that my group members turn in the project because if I'm going to bed, I'm not gonna be able to do it. So I'll check that but i did see that there is progress being made i think it's almost done thank god but anyways i'm gonna go to bed now if you guys are also going into finals week good luck i hope you do well i hope you're not too stressed to just know it'll all be over soon and if you're already done with finals congratulations take some time to relax and de-stress thank you all so much for watching and i will see you very soon bye guys mm -hmm.